Ball started filling at about half past two for the seven and a half hour event that's being supported by more than 120 of the country's finest young musicians and comedians. By the end of the night, organisers are confident they will have taken more than $700,000. A figure that could rapidly rise after profits from a television special and a likely LP are counted. The federal government has also pledged a refund of sales tax on money raised by the concert. It's part of a worldwide move that's already seen $14 million raised from the sales of a record, which was produced by a collective of British rock musicians called Band-Aid. Co-author of Band-Aid's song and leader of the group Ultravox, Midjur has flown out to support his Australian colleagues. You know, it's great that it's happening here. I know that it's happening in America just now as well. The, uh, American artists are recording a Band-Aid type record. Um, whereby all the money again is going to be donated. Uh, we're talking about possibly doing uh, a live concert link up and satellite it around the world. Two live concerts running in sync, one in New York and one in London, uh, involving all the, the, the biggest names in the world. Aware of the problems of Ethiopian aid often going astray, organisers will donate the proceeds to Red Cross, who they say are the most successful agency at getting aid to the worst affected areas.